Hello everybody, Princess Vera here. We're back at the Grand Floridian Resort. On a blustery day. Just a teeny bit for... Grand Floridian Cafe. Yes, it's been almost two years since we had a visit. So it's time to go back and see if maybe they can culture us a little bit. Be sure to stay fancy. You heard the girl. So the entree options are the Impossible Burger, and then they have the non on the menu, the tofu, miso tofu. We had that like the first time that we came here, which I'll put a link to that in the description box down below. Um, the waitress did take our entire order all at once, so we'll see if it all comes out at once or if they pace it. It's not super busy today. It doesn't look like it, at least. Maybe because it's socially distanced. I got the Florida Sunshine. It's basically orange juice and vodka with a little bit of cranberry, so it's like kind of a screwdriver with peach schnapps. It does taste like the Florida Sunshine without all that smelly, like, Florida scent. Three out of five oranges. I don't think I would drink a second one of these, but I'm glad I tried this. I feel like the princess tried to say that my entire state smells. I wouldn't say she's 100% wrong. I mean, like, maybe like 30% of it. It still hurts a little bit. I can have tall glasses. A little fancy. A hurricane glass almost. Reminds me of like a restaurant attempt at a goombe. Got a little kick. Maybe too heavy in the juice though. Two and a half out of five plus. I assumed correctly when I said that Bear was gonna get the Key West. Tastes like a daiquiri. It's actually pretty good. It tastes like one of those like real fruit strawberry popsicles. I would give this four out of five strawberries. I would like it if it was on the rocks. I'm not a big frozen drink drinker, but I might drink this. Contrary to my hate on fruit in my drinks, I will accept fruit on top of a frozen cocktail. Lime and strawberry is too intrusive to my life. Nice cold beverage. It does sort of look like a daiquiri, I suppose. Rum and fruit juice basically makes a daiquiri, so call it what you want. Key West or not, it's a daiquiri. I can do it with a bit stronger of a rum, but otherwise, it's not too bad. Three out of five plus. Our favorite neighborhood gluten-free bread. Available with um, Earth Balance. I always love it when a restaurant has Earth Balance. I would assume that every place at Cran Floridian has Earth Balance. Nice. Well, that's way too much. I like butter, but I'm also not trying to die. There you go, nice and glistening. is nice and fluffy and moist, not overcooked. Still tastes like, you know, the bread we're used to, but I like this. This one is good. I'm going to give this one um, three and a half out of five breads. It's not as good as the Yatsman and that roast of garlic that they did, though. They know how to do this bread justice. I honestly can't remember the last time I had something positive to say about gluten free rolls. I imagine that you guys remember better than I do, but they're always hitting this. It's a lack of consistency that I have a problem with. It's either like cardboard tasting or it tastes like a sponge. Rarely anything different. The addition of Earth Balance is a nice touch. 
I will say it's still a bit chewy for a roll, but it's not dry. It's actually moist and feels like a roll. Chewiness kind of throws me, but it's better than most of the ones that we've had. Two and a half out of five plus. Wrapped here in this teeny blanket, we have two rolls. Uh, I assume that normally it's a bigger portion size. I'm never complaining when they adjust the size of food. With the way that we order food, I'd prefer that you not waste food I'm not going to eat anyway. Uh, but you got some nice like oat covered rolls. Wheat rolls. Ooh. Give them in for a treat. Nice and moist. You can feel the heat coming off of it. Now it comes with regular butter, but I'm lactose intolerant. So I'm going to dip into some of the Princess Earth Balance here. Give myself a nice little spread. Let's uh, hope it's good. Mm. Mm. This is an excellent like oat wheat roll. I'm assuming the reason why it's not plant based is there's probably honey in it. Because there's a tinge of sweetness to it. But this is a grade A roll. I give this one four and a half out of five gloss. It's almost perfect. This is a very large appetizer. This is a seasonal salad. We have romaine on here. Seasonal veggies. I love the pickled onions. That's my favorite. And then a coriander lemon vinaigrette that goes on top. This is a, a shareable, for sure. I don't even know, I'm gonna destroy it, but I don't know how I'm gonna get everything in a bite. I think I'm just going to chop a little bit for myself. This is definitely a wedge salad. This is one you gotta chop yourself. Is this a, oh, that's a tomato, okay. For a second, I thought it was a lemon. A little bit of this onion on it. All right, cheers. It's a weird combo, but it's the coriander lemon that really like brings this whole salad together. It's a very interesting combination of flavors. You, you really feel the coriander at first and then the lemon second. The lemon tastes fresh, like fresh squeezed lemon. The onions are a little, um, not pickled. They're just really raw oniony. So I'd probably not eat more of that. I'll chop the wedge salad. I like the tomatoes. The carrot's a little large. But overall, good shareable salad. I'm going to give this a three out of five wedges. This one is not tossing a salad. Maybe two and a half. Now this restaurant is billed as a non-pretentious sort of American eatery, I guess. Non-cut vegetables for <laughs> salad is where you get non-pretentious from. Uh, there's basically whole pieces of vegetables and lettuce dumped into a bowl. This is a tomato? Yeah. It definitely looks like a lemon. Oh, it's a yellow tomato. This is a lot to this salad. There's a lot going on in like, you basically need to go in here and like have at it to make sure you get a little bit of everything. You got some zucchini, some lettuce. I'm gonna avoid these onions because they look like they would kill me. But I do want a little bit of zucchini here. I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer some of this to my plate so I can actually get at it. There's way too much going on here at the same time. A little piece of grilled zucchini. And boom, we'll just kick this out of the way here because that's way too much for me. Boom, down to something a little bit more bite sized. So you have the grilled zucchini, the uh, grilled squash, grilled zucchini, carrot, and some really, really crunchy lettuce. Like you can hear the crunch. I'm gonna do a smaller piece of carrot here. There we go. I am struggling. They have a bear and greens. Not best friends, but we try. I like the freshness of veggies. The grilled zucchini and squash are excellent. The carrot is actually not hard. It's nice and cooked all the way through. Everything's served chilled. I actually don't mind the coriander, but the lemon on the back side sort of gets me. I'm not huge into like citrus heavy dressings, 
So if you have an issue with citrus, you might want to avoid this salad or maybe see if they need a different dressing. All in all, the salad is indeed a salad and it's not bad tasting. For that, we're going to three out of five points. Actually, hit at the bottom of the salad, like a little piece of treasure, is one singular, extremely skinny piece of asparagus. Poor little guy, I'll give him a nice home. I'm really excited that this tofu option was available because I just was not feeling an impossible burger. It's always nice to know that you have an, an alt meat and a non alt meat option. I think that's the best way to go about having vegan options. So we have this beautiful um, miso glazed tofu, green beans, and um, some rice with some black and regular sesame seed. Let's go ahead and grab a little piece here. in your mouth. The tofu is silken and soft. The miso glaze is incredible. This is so much better than what I remember last time I had this dish. I'm gonna give it um, three and a half out of five tofus. I wouldn't proactively come back here for this, but the fact that this is here and available makes me so happy. I'm going to eat the whole plate. Keeping with the non-pretentious theme, we have a very simple, but I think well put together, sort of like plating of tofu. Tofu looks seasoned, you got a little like blackening on it, a light dusting of sauce, not covered per se. And the, the sesame seeds on the rice are a nice touch. I'm not the biggest fan of green beans, but I think in this case it sort of fit. I'm gonna try some of this tofu by itself first. I'm curious to how well seasoned it actually is. It's like pepper and a slight miso glaze, but the tofu is itself, it's not like marinated or anything, it's more like just a dusted, actually glaze. But it's not bad. Tofu on its own, I'll give three and a half out of five plus. Let's get a little bit of rice, second piece of tofu, and a singular green bean. Let's see if we can do this. Tastes like health food. Tastes like the green beans, maybe got a slight bit of like lemon or citrus. Oh no, I think in a complete bite, it's not a bad dish. It's definitely not something that I would tell my friends who come here for, but if you are happen to find yourself at the Grand Freedom Cafe, it's nice to know there is a non all meat dish. There's room for improvement though. So overall, I'm giving it three out of five plus. Oh, miso glazed salmon. I feel like I've been here before. I don't think I like the salmon that we had here last time. I'm very, very picky about my salmon. Being an island boy, having spent both time in Florida and places where salmon is readily available, uh, you ruin salmon, you're gonna break my heart. Like, legitimately break my heart. We have the same sort of, like, rice and the green beans the, the princess had with a little bit of like lemon or sorry lime for your fish I suppose we're gonna give it a little spritz hopefully that's what they intended test the flakiness oh it's perfect perfect flakiness of the fish you don't need no knife let's try this fish by itself or almost by itself mmm Definitely a stronger glaze than miso than the princess's tofu had. I'm happy with that. Fish is perfectly flaky, not ishy. Strong flavor throughout. It's definitely cooked well. Not overcooked, perfectly cooked salmon. Like, I'll give the salmon on its own four out of five plus. Let's try it with a bit of everything here. Get a little bit more of that salmon. Some rice. No? There we go. 
even with this lunch in there, I would say it's salmon. It almost feels like it belongs in a Japanese restaurant and it's so good. I'm going to give it a solid four. I've got no complaints. It feels an odd dish to be in this sort of restaurant, but I'm never going to complain about good salmon. Mark this moment in history is the day that Princess left green beans and Bear didn't. Guilty. I thought you didn't like green beans. I was hungry. Grand Floridian Cafe. It was much better than the last time that we went. My memory is a little tainted, albeit I have a terrible memory, so I remember it I not being enjoyable last time. But I actually did not mind it this time. It's not going to be top tier of my list of places to go, but the food was above average. I would agree. It's, I think, middle of the run for Grand Floridian. I would leave it with, like, Gasparilla. It's, it's you know, it's one step above that. That's a bit harsh, it's a but one step above that. fair, I would say. Uh, definitely, I wish they, the menu would change a little bit more often. I feel like that menu has been it basically the same. It hasn't changed at all. Not since artist. we started YouTubing. It's time for a change. You upgraded... Uh, Citricos? Citricos. It's time for an upgraded Grand Fodern Cafe. But I don't know what you guys think. Have you guys been there recently? What do you think of the menu? Do you think that it's worthy of a restaurant in the spacious Grand Fodern Hotel? If so, let us know in the comments. Is there anywhere else you'd like to see us go around Disney World property or otherwise? That's also going to be a place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video. And if you don't comment, none of these Christmas trees are going to be for you. I mean, yeah, you can go watch them on another YouTube channel. And we're going to show them on, on our YouTube channel too. But somehow, no Christmas trees for you. That's like an empty thread. Lumps of coal for everybody. But you heard the girl.